know how I feel about Disability Pride Month. For myself, I mean. I'm all about marginalized groups getting dedicated times of recognition and awareness, celebrating our humanity and inherent worth despite how the world at large might categorize our value. But to me, the word pride feels like celebration or even just acceptance of that part of your existence. I see disabled people posting about being a strong disabled woman, and I just can't relate. My chronic illnesses actively keep me from being strong, from being independent, from being everything I worked so hard to be, and from developing the personal skills and characteristics I value for myself. Almost a decade in, I haven't fully accepted that all of the ambitions I had as a kid are gone. I follow people with my dream jobs on social media and then beat myself up about it. Heck, I haven't even given up on the higher education goals yet. I've been slowly picking up the dream and walking down the road of a PhD. It'll take a while, but I'm sure I'll get there in the far, far future. Or will I, really? I only really just started using the word disabled to refer to myself in the last couple of years, even though I lost a huge chunk of my functionality to illness way back as a teenager. The word pride feels like I'm expected to be happy about my existence as it is, to leave the grief behind. And I know the two aren't mutually exclusive. I know that we can hold more than one emotion about something at a time. And I also know that's not the intention of disability pride. But the grief and the anger are still so overwhelming, I can't really feel any other way about it yet. There's not really a point here, just another painful rant I wrote on a bad health day when I was also feeling overwhelmed by all the Disability Pride Month posts. If there's any point, it's just to let other people, especially here in the Minecraft space, but certainly not exclusively, know that you're not alone if Disability Pride gives you mixed or even just plain old negative feelings. You're allowed to have whatever feelings about it that you have. The disability is affecting you far more than it's affecting anyone else who might have an opinion on how they think you should feel. Feel the feelings, and try to find little pieces of good wherever you can, too. Our brain and body need a break from sadness every once in a while, if we can give them that. I love that we have community through this game. I love that gaming exists for those of us who can't be normally productive but still need to feel accomplishment for our own sanity. I wish I didn't have to rely on a video game for sanity and fulfillment. I'd much rather be able to wander real woods for hours or any number of other leisure or work activities. And at least then, less people would think I'm lazy when they hear how I spend my time. But that's probably more for another day. For now, I'm just glad I have this outlet. And hey, if you're a gamer dealing with some kind of disability or illness and want to find community that gets it, or if you're anyone who just wants to be there for and with us, check out this video for an announcement on what I hope will be just that for us.